one in, in one of those books, there's a picture of me sitting there wearing a first calf jacket, uh, you know, uniform, and with about two or three Claymore mines, a couple of clickers, uh, blasting caps, and C4. Because that's what I used to carry. I just took a picture of it one time for the hell of it. And uh, we used to rig up mechanical ambushes at night, too. The VC weren't the only ones who rigged up booby traps. Well, we, could, we got pretty good at uh, rigging up uh, mechanical ambushes with claymores. And what, the way it would work is you take a, an old battery and rig a lead up to a blasting cap. The trick is you'd have to break the electrical circuit. So you'd have the two leads on the wires, and you'd take a spoon or something, you know, an insulator, and you put it in between them somehow secure them together and then put a string on that. This, would all, this stuff would all be rigged up to the claymore and the battery. So the idea was that if you had a string on the, the spoon and you could string it across a place where somebody might come, if they hit it, the spoon pops out, completes the thing and it blows it up. It's General Schwarzkopf, if you think he looks scary now, imagine him 15, 20 years younger at about age 37 or 38, when he got off the helicopter and took over our, our unit, I looked at this guy and said, oh my God, we got a lifer here. We're in it now. And uh, he was a pretty good guy, actually, but he was pretty aggressive, too. He was, the, the guy that replaced him later on told me that uh, he was one of these five percenters from West Point that's, you know, destined to be stars. And uh, he was on track. and. Uh, he was getting his command, you know, the command experience. So he got a little aggressive, and he moved us around, and he had, him, had some guys doing night river crossings and things like that that weren't so good. But I did not dislike General Schwarzkopf. I thought he was a pretty good guy. I wonder sometimes, you know, what's going on. I hope, I felt kind of strongly that we all owe a debt to those that didn't make it to live our lives better, to try to do something to help people and not, not just go off on your own and you know, be a money hog like some of these cats that we've been watching in Wall Street. But I, I mean, feel very strongly that if I ever have to face one of those guys at the wall, I would like to be able to feel a little up to it. <laughs>